99.3105.7 KISS FM, you're now down with the king. I got the king in the building with me right now, though. Mr. John with a spoon. Thanks for having me. Thanks Woo! for having me. Again. It's always Thank good you. to have you in the building, brother. Thank you so much. And it seems like every time I see you, you look better and better. Oh, yeah, I'm trying my best to look younger. Maybe. I'm going the other way. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. bang. <laughs> Yo, how was it been, man? What's going on with you? I've been, I'm fine. I was, uh... I'm just trying to unwind from having been in uh, France for f four weeks. Woo! What was happening month. in France? You know, Matty Johnson had that birthday party. He had his birthday party. For four party. weeks? No, no, no. We went, <laughs> we went there early. I was going to say, y'all, that we was a serious party. To, to visit a lot of friends we know in France. Oh, wow. Yeah. How was it over there? I've been there many times. I love France. Come on, man. South of France. Yeah, the weather's j just like California. All the time. Yeah. Which and, is your home now, Sherman Oaks. Yeah, I live in California, yeah. And so... And uh, we were there like three weeks before Magic got there. Uh -huh. We went to Nice and Paris and mm. Saint-Tropez, Aix-en-Provence, Aiglière, Avignon. We, we, we traveled all, but we, my wife and I know, she know all about this. She, she speaks fluent French. Oh, wow. Which makes it real good. I speak a little, un peu français. I don't know what you're saying. That means a little, little bit. You, you didn't cuss me out. Yeah, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's dope, baby. Like, Hold on, he just called him a buddy. <laughs> no, but it was a lot of fun. Oh, man. A lot of money, too. Yeah, but you, you but got it, it. That was worth it. You got it? I'm going to write, try to write. I write some of it off to you because we met a lot of people over there. Right. We talk a lot of business. Yeah, that business. What business. special projects you got working on? You know, everybody's still talking. Well, you're about the last Friday. Yeah, we uh, they you know that they they still do. everything's not done them. yet. No, Cube said the script is finished, but you know Warner Brothers telling him to rewrite this scene, rewrite this scene. They right. tweaking it, see. Right. So whatever they get to tweaking, I don't even get involved in that anymore. Right. But um, we about to sh uh, tape the um, the Boondocks. Yes, that is my show. Yeah. Yeah. We were supposed to, have to do it uh, the eighth, right? Which was Tuesday. What happened? They, the money wasn't right. Okay. Money ain't right. Get the money ain't right. Work. Get it right. Get it tired. But my <laughs> voice don't work. The money ain't right. <laughs> You're like, what? 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 So they, uh, they're working on the, the contracts now. Let me ask you something, man. Mm -hmm. Eddie Murphy doing a lot of his movies, redoing them. If they ever ask you to say, hey, let's let's do another boomerang, but just boomerang? do it based on your character no. <laughs> coordinating and raising no. his son. No. Would no. you do something like that? Oh yeah, that'd be funny. I, they, I always thought they, that they doing, never did that. They're doing Boomerang on BET. Right. They have the, the series yeah, on. But, but it's serious. They say this. I didn't see it. I never saw it's, it. It's not like, you oh, know, no. watching you coordinate. Well, we see, you when, know. When, I got on the, when I got on Boomerang, um, Eddie Murphy requested after the movie was done. Really? He said, well, it's going to be funny being David Allen Greer's father. Really? He'll be, he come in that old country dude, and David Allen Greer is like a banker type. Right, know? exactly. Yeah, like a president. And so I come in there being country, and that's what that's why I wrote I wrote all that stuff myself. Go ahead, they man. Didn't have a script for me at all. See now, no one probably even knew that. No, no. Wow. I, I, I got the wardrobe. I got all that stuff. I went to the wardrobe department by myself. They told me. The Eddie says, "Boom, you got it. You go ahead and do it." That's why Paramount said, "No, you can't do it. You can't come in here and sabotage this movie." We that was budget the best already. part of yeah. the relationship. Had nothing to do with the writers who wrote Whoa. Boomerang. Hey, man, you know what? I wrote all that stuff. Amazing. Well, yeah. Wow. So I had to come up with something. So I did the old stuff I used to say when I was a kid. You got to coordinate. How do you, man, hold up. Bang, How bang, do you just bang. show up after a movie is done and say, look, man, <laughs> let me put my off on it yeah. and show you what I can do. Oh, yeah. But that just goes to show that Eddie yeah. had that kind of trust in you. Oh, right? yeah. And and David Allen Greer was... Uh, Said that the scene where we were supposed to be in the bathroom hitting it. Right. That was David Allen Greer who said that. <laughs> he said that'd be a funny scene. <laughs> he come out the bathroom. With my, I had, then I said, was I, I said I'm gonna really make it funny. So I turned my jacket inside out so you can see the mushrooms. So none of this was scripted. This no, is pretty much on the fly. That's what made Chappelle's yeah. show so yeah. funny with Charlie Murphy. Yeah. A lot of those skits they did after hours. After hours and they said, oh, record that. Yeah. Is there a script that you would say, you know what, I can't do that? Has there been a movie where you say, you know what, nah, this is corny, I can't do this? Well, I, 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 there was a TV show when I was on the Tracy Morgan show. Uh -huh. He had hired these uh, this production company. I mean, after this, these scripts ain't funny. Y'all got to let, let me uh, add my part. Right. They said, no, Mr. Witherspoon, you're being paid to read our lines 
And that's what we want you to do. Let's get right. Well, okay. Mr. Witherspoon, you're going to have to read. We have to read. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not going to be on stage. You're not going to be on TV long. Right. And so I read your line. This is my face. They see saying yeah. this stuff. This is corny. And so I say it's not funny. And so they said, no, you know, they were arrogant about that. Did so you I, end up doing it? Oh, yeah, I did their lines. I'm making all this money. I ain't changed nothing up. <laughs> you don't want me to make it last so this show can last a little longer. Yeah. I said, okay, y'all got it. I and what know. happened with that show? Off the air. <laughs> <laughs> See? They should have listened to We you. did about 18 shows. We supposed to do about three, four years. Oh, wow. You know, and it was Carsey Warner, Mandelbach, which is one of the best production companies. Exactly. They'll, they'll get on TV just because of their name. Yeah. But no, no cats wouldn't listen to me. Well, I'm telling you, I'm waiting to see a TV show that yeah. you are writing and directing. I, oh, I, no, that's too much. That's too much. I wouldn't want to do that. Really? Oh, yeah, it's too much. You can't write, direct, and then star in it. Oh, my God. That that's, that's drive me. I'd be the third week. I'd be <laughs> under, under the table. He's way with this one. He's under the table over there. <laughs> if anybody wanted to do a movie about all the great comedians and they say, you know what, we got to do a script on John with a spoon, <laughs> who would you pick to play you? Oh, I don't know. I don't care. Who is close? Who Who is somebody you admire as a young comedian? Uh, like, oh, I like this cat. He could, he could be me. I don't really know. I, I never think about that. Who makes you laugh the most right now out of all the young I, comedians? I don't, I, don't, I don't think it. Mooney used to make me laugh. Oh, wow. Paul Mooney used yeah. to be so crazy. I mean, I mean, he's uh, not around that much anymore. Right. But I used to uh, be at the comedy store. And watching his act, I said, that boy's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Because <laughs> he's raw comedy. Oh, man, God, he would do some funny stuff. Oh, man. Like, he would be here. He made me laugh. There you go. Uh, Richard Pryor used to make me laugh. So, Have uh, you seen uh, the so-called movie with Mike Epps playing Richard? No, I never. It's not. They had a movie. I, I know. It, yeah, I, they're working on it. Have you they're seen They're working any, on No, no, no. Any clips of it? And, and Mike Epps is funny. Yeah. When you're around him and he's not doing the delivering lines somebody else wrote. He just said he's funny as he can be. Yeah. He's funny when you do impression of me. Right. He's funny. That's how I actually... <laughs> funny. Oh, my God. He had me laughing so hard. <laughs> Brother, thank you for making us laugh. Oh, man. Thank, thank you for you, giving man. us thank joy, you, man. Yeah, thank you. God bless uh, you and all that you do, my brother. Oh, thank you, brother. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, I'm still, show. still around. There it is. Keep it going like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>